and kick your ass. And they make a fucking song about you kill, going into school, feeling bad about yourself and killing yourself? What the fuck? I'm done. I'm just done. It's movie making. It's fucking dumb how much Minecraft, how much that dumb movie that turned out to be a piece of living shit totally took care of my life and fucking wrecked it like a dad that would be an alcoholic and kick his son's ass. I have literally lost friends because of that movie. You guys have to know that, right? You, you have to, like, put it as your this Skype. Is re- this is... Like... This is... This I is mean, another reason why I ha- This is why the... This is why... You know why everyone hates Mitch? You know, everyone all of a sudden starts hating Mitch? Because he takes people from people. Just because he wants to record a fucking thing that'll turn out like total shit. Because he puts no work or effort into it. I could have been great friends with Rico and Colin because they're people that actually get me. They're people, you know, we all in this call, we all were friends with them. And guess what? Guess what? Guess one fucking thing. Mitch took us away from them. Mitch is a person. Just... He made, he persuaded us into doing fucking dumb skits that turn out like shit because he can't put work into them. <laughs> All the way up to Tornado Stories episode, episode like five, it was total shit. Because that was when he started sucking in people. First it was me, then it was us, then it was Mick. And then, bam, a conflict hits. Bam, a movie comes. Bam, Jupiter the movie comes. Bam, Jupiter the movie two. Bam, Tornado Stories two. Bam, Tornado Story 3, turning us against people, turning us happy to people who are fucking morons who can't do anything but just stare at the computer screen doing absolutely nothing. That is some truth. You guys have to actually think about this. You know, oh, gosh. I mean, you know Jupiter, I, mean I wanted to... Him. I'm meeting with him in, 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 in spring break in real life. You guys have to get that. And he sucked me in so much I'm meeting him in fucking real life. Can you believe that? He wouldn't go in real life with any other of you guys but me because he always has told me that he doesn't trust you even though he uses you for fucking Minecraft movies. And then he's a giant dick. All of a sudden, you know, he's funny, freaking hilarious. He's saying, oh, cool beans. And then he's he's like, well, Jupiter, it's a Minecraft movie. It's nothing else. And that's why your movie fucking sucked. Because you put nothing into it. I don't even remember when the first time that I hung out with Mitch. That's how much I got sucked into this. That's how much one person can change another person. Sure, subscribers are great. I love support. I love everything. But, you know, I think it's just starting to be me and Mitch's and everyone's popularity that's kind of taking over. Like you said, fame destroys people starting to destroy me (sighs) starting to destroy me I mean at least I mean there's the difference you're actually aware that fame starting to start to take over you still have the chance to control it was the best this that is one of the best reasons once hit Mitch Hit 1,000 subscribers? I knew him the night when he hit 500. That I met him the night. I talked to him on Skype the night that he hit 1,000 subscribers. He was different until that fucking hour, and then he's getting worse and worse every day because he's letting Tame take over him. And then there's 
me. <coughs> There's me, you know, just, you know, sitting back, enjoying the ride of watching someone turn from a nice 11 year old, 10 year old, I don't know what age he was when he met, kid into a 12 year old person who sucks people in to other things. Mitch is my great best buddy. He is my best buddy on the computer, not in real life. And it probably will be in a couple months. But he sucked me into this. I I don't know what to say. I don't know if I like that. If I, I don't know if I hate that. But all of my best friends are now, you know, nobody's on the computer on my Skype contacts that have the question mark. You know what the question mark means to me? What did you do to these people? Why? Well, then let me be the first. Is it there? Why is it there? Uh, I don't know. Someone named... fun of them. No wonder why people totally hate him. No wonder why Tanner fucking hates him. I don't care. I don't care what I said. I'm not gonna tell Mitch. You guys won't tell Mitch if you guys do. Don't say one word what I said about this. I literally just had a mental breakdown on the in front of you guys. Well, I I mean, like, to be honest, Jupiter, I wanted to say the same things, too. I mean, when I, like... I literally I think, just let out my anger. All I think my four anger. weeks... I think four weeks ago, I started having the same thoughts. I mean, ever since Mitch blew up in my face about the script and how it was, quote-unquote, too complicated. Too complicated? Mitch, yeah. movie-making is complicated i've i've directed that's why you should make a movie it's not you know gonna be easy it's not one of those things you know make, record it you know upload it put it in you know sony vegas and nothing upload it you know totally fine go to school have a fun life and everybody hates it. you come home everyone hates it you're crying in a little corner in your room. Why does everyone hate this? Because you didn't put any goddamn work into it. I think Rob can relate to this. I think Mick can relate to this. I think Les, Noodle, Le Cash, even Connor. You know, Mitch is starting to be nice to him. He's starting to suck him in. I don't want to watch anyone else get sucked in. I was the first to. Cookie was the first to. Cookie was. And then came me. And then came Les. Then came Mick. Now comes Connor. And then came Shoot a Birdie. And then came Cash. And then came, you know, Tanner going against us. And then Cookie went on his side. And then everyone went on his side, and then I wanted to, you know, I wanted to defend the person. I wanted to defend the person that sucked me in. Tanner didn't like that. I can get why I didn't like that. And he made a dumb song about me. And then I told Mitch my life story in a paragraph. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what life
life is anymore. I don't know what life even was. Is life now literally kid, sad, overweight children sitting on the computer, start talking to people that are halfway across the country that they don't even know who, who they are? They don't even know what their face looks like? Jesus Christ, I don't even know what Tanner's face looks like. I don't even know what... I don't even know what... Whatever. Um, Let's just say that, I mean, like, at least you got all of that off your chest. At least someone shared the same opinion I had for since I that that yes, I've had since four weeks ago. First person, what's that? Oh my god! All right, compare it with the script that I originally had, and then watch it again. Okay, guys, I'm back. You you didn't even listen to all of this, Les. I was not even here. Mm. Anyway, guys, Jupiter, that, this right here, this TS second scene, first person, might be a good thing to look at. That's what happened when Mitch decided the script was too complicated. <laughs> this is the result. Actually, I'm just going to play it myself because... To be honest, I was very, very pissed when he decided to abandon the script that I had spent I don't know how many hours working on. I mean, I, I, mean, I have a very, very bad temper. I'm gonna be very honest here, but when, but when I like get angry, I just leave the call and I just very, very quietly let it blow off. Stand the sound of thunder. It's just sleeping tanker. Uh, I still don't do it, though. Why are you so mad all of a sudden, Jupiter? I hope you... You didn't even listen to any Fucking of this. Idiot. I want... I wasn't even here. You were here for the first half of his rant. Literally the first half of his rant you were here. Mick. Mick. What? Please don't tell Jupiter this. What? I had no choice. I was just looking out for Mitch. And I you're gonna tell him that whole thing. You had to. For no, what I didn't reason? have to. I just, I just feel bad that I feel bad, Mick. You know what I mean? I mean, like, dude, I actually kind of shared the same feelings. I mean, like, what Mitch told me the script was too complicated, but. Two weeks before he said that, he was yelling at me about how TS2 went um went out like, like, like he he was really mad at me because of TS2, and then um a few and then about a month later he records the scene when he gets the deflector up and running, and I tell no not not that like I was telling him about like the last thing. Oh my god. It's just like all gone. All of it's gone. I mean, for all I know, I don't. I don't know if I want to do T. I work on TS3 anymore. Jupiter, I hope Jupiter, less. Yeah. Just saying, I did kind of have the feeling that Mitch kind of went crazy about due to fame. I just have to say, to be honest here. Like fame. anyone can, like fave, no, no, fame drove Mitch crazy, 
when I first talked to Mitch, he was a very kind, outgoing person who didn't care about himself, who cared about other people. Guess what happens? Guess what happened? Look at look at him now. He only cares about himself. Well, I'm not and, sure and about fame. that. Are you sure, Les? I've seen it. I've seen it. He 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 put down my script just because it was too complicated. I'm not stuffing words into people's mouths. He turned down the script because it was too complicated. Well, he all of a, he started yelling at people just for no apparent reason. He had he had tempers that he didn't have before. He was like he was literally like. I don't know if it's puberty anymore. I think it, I think the fame started destroying him from the inside out. And Jupiter has seen the effects, and he's and he's been hurt by it. Like we do have to remember, though, like. I don't think Mitch was expecting any of this in the first place. And life, dude, life will, Murphy's Law, but anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Life is unpredictable. You, you cannot, ex never expect anything from life. If you expect things from life, it's a death trap that's going, that's going to literally kill you from the inside. Oh, yeah, obviously. Literally. I had... I know what it feels like to be famous, Les. But we got I, to... We gotta still remember that. That what? Well, the thing Mitchell's is, Mitch is still... He can be nice, then other things start happening... It just depends, like, how I rem things I rem are going. Like, if things are going really bad, then... Yeah, like, anyone would get mad at that. Let me guess. You're going to send the video that you had recorded to Mitch. You're going to send it to Mitch, and Mitch is going to yell at Jupiter, and then the IRL meet's never going to happen, and all of that crap. And then all Jupiter's um, dreams are going to be shattered, and Mitch's dreams are going to be shattered, and then everything's going to go downhill from there. Because Mitch and Jupiter are going to be fighting, just like how Tanner and Mitch have been fighting. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't I've, know. I, I've, I, Les, I've seen it happen. A friend just gets brutally honest behind another f when when his friend doesn't when like all right look one of my friends were ranting very in a very similar fashion to what you how Jupiter has been ranting about Mitch my friend was ranting about another friend of mine I for no apparent reason told the other friend and then what I saw both my friends were suspended because of a physical fight and they, both of them were very nice people who wouldn't, who would never resort to violence. Both of them. Less. Yeah. I have to be honest here. I mean, like, as a friend, I mean, I treat Mitch as a friend. It's just that I have to be, like, extremely, extremely, really, really, really honest here. Anything. Like, if anything, like, goes really extreme, especially friends talking behind friends' backs, it turns good people cruel. I never resort to violence. I almost punched someone right in the nose. And my punching power exceeds 120 pounds of force. My kicking power exceeds 700 pounds of force. I'm a very, very strong kicker. I can okay. kill.